Welcome everyone to a brand new DLC video. My name's Ali A. Today we're going to be taking a look at the map Dynasty, which is a part of the fourth and final Call of Duty Ghost map pack called Nemesis. I've covered two maps so far. If you've missed them out, just click on my channel. They'll be waiting for you guys. Here I managed to get three kills in a row with three different weapons, which was quite fancy. Didn't mean to do it, just ended up picking up different weapons and dropping people along the way. I did end up playing pretty well at this DLC event, not going to lie. Uh, it's always against other YouTubers or just people from the Call of Duty team and uh, had a lot of fun. Hope you guys really enjoy the gameplay. Now tomorrow, you probably want to check back on my channel tomorrow because that's when the early gameplay for the Shipment remake will be released. And also if you're interested in Extinction, there will be some gameplay of that but it'll be quite late pretty much wherever you are in the world tomorrow so um, if, if you're around on Tuesday morning or very late when uh, Monday sorry then come back to my channel to check out the extinction as well but this map I would say it feels small I think in reality the sizing is sort of medium but because there's lots of tight corridors lots of tight walkways it feels like a close quarters small map and I do like it I really do like it uh, this is like the middle section of the map where you'll find B in Domination and it's like an underground walk where you're going to find a lot of action in there. Watch out, it's pretty damn hectic. I would say if you're first playing this map, stick to the edges and just be wary. Start to learn the layout a little bit and then maybe cut through the middle if you're feeling a little bit adventurous. <laughs> and maybe uh, maybe you get lucky, maybe you pick up some big kills and that could be awesome. There is a new field order on this map as well. I'll show you guys that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. You may recognise what it is if you've ever played a previous Call of Duty game. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so that's pretty cool. I decided to go with a submachine gun on this map because it worked worked pretty damn well. As I said, close quarters, very tight corners. You're running into enemies without even realizing it. I was often turning corners with my sights up, as you saw literally just there with that kill. If I hadn't had my sights up, pretty much 100% would have died. So you've got to be careful. Very, very wary of that. Um, the streaks I was rocking were the SATCOM dogs and also the Battle Hind um, works pretty well. Um, I, these are pretty much the streaks I use almost all the time. Uh, I would have loved to have seen DLC kill streaks within Call of Duty because unfortunately it didn't happen. I think if, if any game had room for extra kill streaks, it would have been this game. But who knows? Maybe we'll see it with Advanced Warfare where we're going to be getting the multiplayer reveal for that game in just over a week. Make sure you stay tuned here on my channel for all of the information for Advanced Warfare. The next Call of Duty game is going to be pretty exciting. If you guys haven't seen any DLC videos so far, you're probably wondering why is the hit marker orange? They've updated the hit marker to be orange. Honestly, not sure why. Maybe they felt orange stood out more. I think it does stand out more, but maybe I'm just saying that because I'm so used to the white hit marker. Can't quite work it out. Let me know what you guys think. If it works better or worse, let me know. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend the submachine gun on this map. Hopefully you can pick up the general layout of this map as I'm re-watching it. I know exactly where I'm going, which part of the map I'm in. Map I'm in. But maybe as a new viewer, you'd be a little bit confused. Best thing to do is sort of pay attention to the top of the mini-map. I try to sort of show as many streaks as possible uh, and sometimes some gaps in between the streaks to get you a good idea of the sort of layout. So hopefully it helps you guys. I know a lot of you guys jump on the DLC on day one. You want to get a good idea of what the map is like. Here we're playing Domination, as you can see. B's hectic, man. B is hectic. A lot of the guys that we were playing with in the event like to come down here and just sit behind boxes. I pick up a really nice three-piece and get IED to the face. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Call of Duty goes to be honest. You probably couldn't expect much less than that. Um, but I had a lot of fun at the DLC event. This is almost going to wrap up all my DLC coverage apart from the two new videos tomorrow. On screen here, you can see the field order being called in. Do you recognize that? Maybe you recognize it from Modern Warfare 2. Well, that streak that you may recognize from Modern Warfare 2, my friend, is back in full force within Call of Duty Ghost. It does actually have a specific name um, rather than the name that it did have in Modern Warfare 2. It's more of like a throwback uh, kill streak of anything. It's called the FYL21. Very, very cool indeed. If you guys have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully you're enjoying all of this early DLC footage. I know some of you guys are kind of getting a little bit bored of Ghost right now, but I want to make sure I'm always on top of all the latest stuff. And at the moment, this is the latest stuff. But if you're interested in Advanced Warfare, just one more week to go, my friends. So cheers for watching. Check out a brand new adventure map as started on my second channel if you've never seen a second channel video this would be a great one to start off on so check it out cheers for watching guys and i'll see you tomorrow with some more dlc videos